Hey, what's up, little bros? You got Big Bro here. Thank you to all the new subscribers that join the channel. If you're new here, let me fill you in with my background. A lot of my older subscribers, they know my story. They know I believe in accountability, being honest with yourself. That's the first way you're gonna succeed in this world. Now, this video is for people that live in the United States. I don't know any other countries when it comes to cryptocurrencies on your regulations, but let's start from the very beginning. I'm a high school dropout that got divorced 15 years ago. I'm 42 years old. I had credit card debt, car payments, I uh, caught a DUI, I was at a very low point in my life and I started to really dig deep into myself. Anybody that digs deep into their self, they realize you are the reason why you are where you're at and you will be the reason why you get out. It's all about self accountability. I made a video recently talking about, this is why I do not own Bitcoin, cryptocurrencies and mining companies. I choose to own index funds, real estate, and even I actually own a little bit of precious metals, gold and silver. A lot of you may know that, but this is for all the new people who just joined the team. Let me begin with some things. Let me give you some facts, 100% facts that are out there right now. 57% of the people in the United States cannot afford a $1,000 emergency. Car repos are at an all-time high. Credit card delinquencies are at an all-time high. You want me to believe that people actually can afford a whole Bitcoin? At the filming of this video, this is how much Bitcoin is at right now. I don't know what it's at right now because it's so volatile. It could be $100,000 or it could be $100. You want me to believe you actually own a whole Bitcoin? No. Why are you always lying? 99% of the people out there own 0.00012345% of Bitcoin. And they think the Bitcoin halving or whatever it's called is going to change their lives. These people are subscribed to get rich quick schemes and they will always be fooled. These are the people that get fooled with those lottery tickets that say 10 times your money, 100 times your money. These are people that gamble. These are people that are risky with their finances and their lives. This is how you can shut down any Bitcoin argument and go on with your day and you don't have to say anything else to them. Remember something, you're not gonna totally win the argument with these people because a lot of these people, stay at home son. A lot of these people, they just believe what's in their heads, okay? They, 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 they wanna believe so bad and they're emotionally wrapped up in these things and this is why they get crushed over and over and over and over again. To purchase, let's just pretend this is a Bitcoin. Now, Bitcoin, there's no physical coins out there, you, all right? You will sound crazy if you go up to somebody and say, hey, I'm gonna pay you money today for something that might be used as money tomorrow, all right? But here's how you crush this argument. Say this is Bitcoin. To purchase this off of any crypto platform, it begins with this. You need to link a checking account, a routing number, and a bank account. So once you purchase this with this, this is no longer free market. This is no longer decentralized. You wanna know why? What is this now backed by? This. You need this to purchase this. When you sell out of Bitcoin or any crypto, because remember something, you're not selling out of Bitcoin to get more Bitcoin. You're selling out of Bitcoin for Ethereum, Shiba Inu, or Dogecoin. You can convert it as much as you want to other crap that pops up. But to eventually sell out, what are you looking for? This. It begins with this, and it ends with this. This and this books mark, it bookmarks this. So when people say, this is free market, uh, the technology and block, none of that means anything. You gotta look at the facts. The facts is, for you to buy crypto, it's you need this, and you get this. This is why I'm talking about United States. I don't know about any other country. Maybe you can exchange Bitcoin for rubles or for yen, but at the end of the day, you it all starts with fiat currency. So when these people are saying they're making so much money, they, these nuts, <laughs> got <him. laughs> They need to be honest with themselves. You're not making more Bitcoin, you're making money. So you just told on yourself in that comment, I've made so much money with Bitcoin. You didn't make so much Bitcoin with Bitcoin, you made so much money with Bitcoin. So this is why I don't participate in this. I buy things of value. Let me ask you a question. 
the home that you live in and the and the real estate that you live in, the apartment, the car you drive, what do you pay the banks with? This, right? Even if you pay your house off, you're mortgage free. But if you don't pay your taxes, who comes to take your house? The bank sends out the sheriff, they padlock your house and they foreclose on your home because you don't pay taxes. This is why I invest in the S&P 500 and we're gonna dive deeper into this. The S&P 500 holds all your biggest banks, all your biggest profitable banks. The total stock market index fund holds a lot of your regional banks. So for you to purchase crypto, you need the banks to give you money that I own in the index funds. So as long as crypto's around, fiat currency will be around. Think about that for a second. You, you don't have to dive any deeper with them. You don't. Let them believe what they want because a lot of people are not honest with themselves. It doesn't matter what you do with crypto. I wish you luck. I was actually very respectful in that video and people just come for you because you don't agree with them. See, that's the problem why Americans are so soft and a lot of men in America are so soft because a lot of men in America were raised by single men and they have a lot of female emotions and tendencies that that they, oh, you don't agree with me and wee, wee, wee. America and the world and people are not always gonna agree with you. So, so this is why I don't, argue with these people. I'm making content. Remember, I'm up here. I'm not a YouTube influencer. I'm a YouTube. I, I say to myself, I'm a YouTube share. I share my story. And this is why you can hop in the comment section every now and then I'll have fun. I'll troll with you. Hey, I'm the baby of five. I'm used to getting insulted, picked on and beat up. Anybody that's the baby in the family, you're used to that type of stuff. I got big brother, big sisters, been beat up when I was little. So it's fun to me. Remember something. I'm at a career. I've shared, I've shared this with everybody on my channel. I've showed my timeline. That's me and the avatar in Rome. 43% of Americans don't even own a passport, meaning you can't go where I was. So you want me to believe that this is your ticket out? All the people that made money off of Bitcoin, they're long gone. And what did they cash out with? When the news says Bitcoin is going up, what is it going up in? When Bitcoin is crashing, what is it crashing in value of? Hey, what do I know? I'm just a high school dropout, but I've done pretty well for myself. I will never throw a number out there about my net worth, but all I have to say is this. I work 40% at the age of 42. I'm only here 40% of the time. You can go back to my older videos. I'm, in, I'm making videos in Rome. I got videos up on Capri Island. I got videos up in Aruba. I'm filming at home on a microphone. But at the end of the day, my life will never dictate where your life is gonna be. So anybody out there that wanna achieve real wealth, it starts with you. You need to learn a skill that's in demand. You live on less than you make, buy things that go up in value. And another thing with real estate, there's tax havens, you can write off depreciation. It's not only about making money, it's conserving money. The IRS is friends to the wealthy and the ultra rich. All you gotta do is emulate what they do and you will be better off and you will change the face of your family. It's not about generational wealth. It's about generational knowledge. Wealth and riches can be spent within two or three generations, but knowledge can be passed on forever. No regrets. Get it.